Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do together with you the rebranding of the Zabbix and the purpose of this video is also gonna be to teach you how you can actually do that. And if you're wondering then what exactly the rebranding of the Zabbix frontend means then, well basically you can just easily replace all of these uh, logos right also here in the login form and you can put there your own stuff like if you're running Zabbix for your company you can put your company's logo and, and things like that. And just to make my life easier we're also gonna be using this uh, written guide on the same task right to rebrand the Zabbix uh, by the init max and I will put the link in the description but I will also be reading through this stuff so what I have myself is uh, Zabbix 705 and uh, it's, it's also going to work with Zabbix 6.4 and I think 6.2 as well, but uh, give it a try nevertheless. And I've installed it from the packages just to make my life a little bit easier on the Docker containers. It would be different, but uh, yeah, so, so this time with the packages. And uh, what I also have, I have prepared a couple of uh, logos that we're actually going to be replacing. So I have a compact sidebar PNG main logo and a sidebar logo. PNG as well, right? Those I prepared in advance, you need to create them yourself, or you just, uh, I don't know, can download something to, to make it work for you. So, uh, basically, the first thing that we need to do, we need to create a directory structure in the file. So that's going to be the place where we will have all of those custom logos, and also the configuration file, which will be required to define what and where we actually want to show. So I will just copy paste the commands. We are creating a directory. Uh, let me zoom this in a bit. Uh, creating a directory in user share Zabbix, which is the default uh, front end directory of the Zabbix itself, uh, local slash conf. And also we need to create a directory for, um, yeah, I think the first one will be the config file for the rebranding. And the second one is where we actually going to store those uh, custom logos. So um, let's go back here. Then upgrading custom logos. Prepare logos with the following dimensions. And dimensions are fixed, like you're not really able to change those. So if you want to have something uh, looking meaningful, you need to comply with the requirements as they are. So for the main logo, it's 114x30 pixels. For sidebar, 91x24. And for compact sidebar logo, it's 24 and 24. And by compact, I think that's uh, this one, right? So basically just, just a small icon. There we go, the Z. And uh, what else? So you can optionally use our test data. Yeah, so if you don't want to create anything yourself for the sake of testing, you can use the one which is in this link. Upload your images to the user share Zabbix rebranding directory. You can use the SCP or AirSync command for uploading from another server or simply copy paste files directly. So for me, it's going to be a bit different. Um, user share Zabbix rebranding. So that's the location. So I will just go to the user share Zabbix uh, and rebranding. There we go. We're in this directory and I'm using the MOBA X term, which uh, should user share Zabbix uh, rebranding. There we go. Sorry for the beep. And then I will just drag and put all of those three files here and that should do the job. So ls and there we go. Now we have those uh, three logos files that I'm actually going to use. So <clears throat> let's check what's next. I did copy pasting. So configuring the brand.conf.php, create or edit the brand.conf.php file. And um, yeah, I will use the VI. I don't want to use the nano. So in the same directory that we created here, right? Make dir minus p user share Zabbix rebranding inside it. Um, no, wait, cancel. Uh, copy this again and paste here. User share Zabbix local conf brand conf.php file and it's a new file so there's nothing there we need to create it ourselves. and I will just grab the copy paste from here copy and try to paste it here so PHP return brand logo uh, we actually need to change uh, the path and I don't have a CG I have a PNG so I will delete this part rebranding uh, main logo dot PNG then this will be the sidebar again delete the location because the file name is different that's gonna be the 
I actually have a typo, but whatever, side bag underscore logo dot PNG. And the last one, the compact is, again, delete this part. And it's called compact side bar dot PNG. So that should do the trick. And then in a the footer, that's the message which you will going to see in the footer in the login page. If I remember correctly, I will just write subscribe to YouTube and in help URL. Um, let me actually, you know, I will paste something else. So give me a second. Copy paste. Oops, wrong. Go back here. And paste. So yeah, you can you can follow and subscribe me also on the Patreon as well. There's the free tier, paid tier, so all of the ways how you can support all of these uh videos. So right quit. We did that. Let's go back to the guide. Ensure that the file names match the settings in the brand conv.php. Well, that's basically what I did. And here's the explanation of all the parameters. The main logo displayed on a login screen that appears in the left menu, the logo for the left menu in compact mode, option to add a custom text in the footer, and the URL that opens when a help button is clicked. Interesting. So I actually changed the link for the help. And setting the permissions. Well, this is super important because right now, like I have all the files, uh, those are ready, but 100% uh, the permissions are completely off. And and uh, if I will just uh, try to check it now, it's not going to work. So copy paste this. Okay. Uh, user www data invalid user. So let me actually check what we have. Uh, user share Zabbix. Uh, it's root. Interesting. Okay, then this might actually be fine. I will just run the, these permissions to make sure that we have access to the files themselves. So to the config, uh, then to the, sorry, the last one was to the actual logo files, then this one is to the config. And uh, so again, I'm not going to change the owner and uh, just give the permissions to the rebranding directory. And the last one, is to the rebranding files inside this directory. This should do the job. I hope that it's going to work. So rebranding check. Open a Zabbix web interface and check if the new logo and other rebranding elements are displayed correctly. You may need to clear your browser cache for the changes to take full effect. So let me open um, control F5, I think, should do the trick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it looks pretty ugly. As you can see, I, I, I didn't play perfectly well with uh, with the creating logos but it works like right so here you can see the subscribe and here is the footer text that we just changed and here is the link to the help page which leads to the patreon page itself and uh, yep all good you can log in admin sabex i'm a bit confused like why I think it shouldn't be exactly like this, but... Okay, so I didn't want to give up on this, and I did a bit of troubleshooting, and then I tried different things. I thought maybe it's because of PNG, and I uploaded SVG, but the result is the same. As you can see, the main logo and, and the small logo is there at the same time, uh, which apparently means that you should actually read the instructions before doing something, because I didn't, and turns out before, uh, under these uh, images of the example, there's additional tip. So if the icon appears twice in a compact mode, which is exactly what I'm getting here, then this is a known bug. Here's the link that has been resolved in the versions from 7.2 alpha, so in the 7.2 and in the 7.06. But I am running, um, I deleted this, but it, I think it's 7.05. So you can still follow the guide. And if you're having this result, it's going to be fixed in the next minor version. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next videos. Goodbye.